So we're here at the Netronix, and who are you? Hi, I'm Derek, Derek Ma. And uh, you're showing some really cool eating devices right here. You have a small one and a big one. Yes, we have a 30.3 inch um, electronic e paper e note. You can write it on it with the stylus. So 13.3 inch, what yes. kind of resolution is going on here? Uh, this 12? one is 1200 by 1600. So there it is, 1200 by 1600. And uh, what is the processor in there? It's uh, running on Freescale uh, Alamex 6 Solo Light. Solo Light, so it's a really fast uh, CPU. Is it an Android? Yes, it's running on Android. Uh, the current Android version is 4.0.4, I believe. And we are upgrading that to uh, KitKat later. Awesome. Cool. Uh, so this is ultra thin. Ultra light, crazy light, and uh, is it just a prototype for now, or, or are you ready? How soon are you ready to mass produce? We are. We'll be ready uh, to mass produce this in about three months. So within the three months, design is almost ready. What do you need to do the last three months? Housing. Housing. Yeah. Like and a little. The tooling ready and it's, it's ready to go. So you have weight of uh, uh, 400 grams for it's now. It's a little bit less than 400 grams. How about the, in the light, next three months? You can even make it lighter, or uh, yeah, sure. Or you, All coils make maybe. It yeah. How? Uh, we are we are reducing some of the components inside. But this is already amazingly light for this kind of yeah, display. Yeah, we try to reduce that by another like thirty to forty grams. Is it flexible? Yeah, this is flexible display. So it's not gonna crack. It's not really say you can't really say it's crash proof, but it's very resistant to uh, drop. In theory, if you drop it, it should be okay, right? Should, yes. Much better than Much glass. Much better than the traditional e-paper. Is this also flexible? Or is this, is... this one's not. So if this one falls, it's more fragile than this one? Yes. All right. So, um, and how about putting in the bags? Is it gonna get, uh, is it gonna get scratched up against things or is it pretty uh, durable? Well, you come with a protective pouch. It's always recommended that you put a device in a protective pouch. So it's touch and it's uh, stylus. Is there a difference between the stylus and the finger touch? Or is it just kept everything as touch? Um, you, can, you can either use your finger or the stylus. Is it, uh, what is the technology for the touch? The, right now this one is running on cap capacitive touch. So capacitive, is that a capacitive pen? No, this is a digitizer. So is it the uh, Wacom? No, we use a different one. Very right. similar to Wacom. And uh, let's try to write some more. Okay. This one, uh, different program, you know, it has a different thickness level. So, somebody would like to use this to learn Chinese, you know, so it's good to write. How do you write in Chinese? So, you have different... What does that mean? Picture. And, uh, it would be awesome to have an Android app where you read some text maybe and then you make annotations and you share the annotations with sure, many other people in the company yes. or students. Yes. Now Netronic sells a product and we offer the SDK free of charge. So we encourage developers to uh, develop uh, their own software. Is there any software like this already or is it could it come in the future? What do you think? Like I want to see a collaborative document annotation application. So you take any any like a uh, lawsuit, and then you have ten lawyers working on this text, right? And then uh, and then you know like uh, annotating around the text. Yes, we are working on that. We say uh, this part is bad. Write it again, you know. Right. Or this one is good. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, put more of that, you know. Or mm -hmm. uh, talk about uh, something here. That's right. That's right. We are working on it, and it's not really hard for a, for a programmer to write software on it. And the text is amazing, no? Yeah, it is amazing. And the speed is amazing. It's so fast. How can it be fast? Can, is it the fun. engine, uh, the Freescale Solar Light is really good? With e? uh, we Yes, we do some tricks with this device. And the battery is good? Yeah, it lasts for weeks. So this is the ultimate e-reader ever. The best ever made, right? Yes. What is the version of Android right now? It's 4.054. Is there any chance it will be 5.0 for some reason? No, Ma we probably will be upgrading to uh, KitKat uh, in the near future. 4.4? 4.4, yes. 
But uh, five, maybe not. No. It depends on free scale, maybe. Yes. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe there's no need. It depends. It'd be nice if Google optimized Android, Google style, you know, that they invest a lot of money in e ink. It would be nice. All right. So, so you've been doing e ink for a while. How long have you been doing e ink stuff? Six, seven years. And uh, how about this smartwatch? Let's check it out. So, so is this the latest version? Yeah, this is uh, running on the uh, uh, 1.54 inch. So 1.54 inch. Yeah. It looked like it was color ink, but it's actually just a it's not. touch it's, yeah. under the e-ink, right? Yeah, it's just touch right here. And uh, the touch is uh, look. It looks like Android, but it's not actually running Android, is it? No, it's not running Android. Uh -huh. It's not. So you have a little e ink screen there. Is it ready for mass production or? Uh, this one probably will be in April as well. April to May time frame. This is a sample number one. Yeah. So there's very few. Yes. And uh, why is it so thick? Can you make a very thin one, that thin uh, like this? Can you make thin we will like try it. It's a battery. It's a trade-off between the battery life and the design. But you can put the battery in the strap or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we we try that. Um, put the battery in here, and this, and then. Uh, have you seen this Sony? Yes. It looks good, no? <laughs> yes. Can you make the same? <laughs> we could, but at a cost. I'm what not so sure whether it's... Uh, what is the cost? Like development cost? Or material cost? Or what is it? Both? Both. Yeah. Alright. But you have all the engineers. You can do anything the, the customer wants if they want to make a big order, right? Sure. So they just come to you and you do custom design. That's right. Yes. That's cool. what we do. So I'm just gonna play around a little bit. This Android 4.0.4 right now. I'm gonna go back in the menu. It's gonna note, and uh, let's make a new one. And then I'm just gonna paint a little bit like this. It's ready. The product's ready, so it's cheaper. And uh, let's let's uh, go in there. I'm gonna create a new. I can call it D. I have to apologize to our brochure. And then I can just start uh, drawing. Nice. Yeah. Cool. And uh, then we go over here. I'm going to open a book. I'm just going to read an amazing quality. This is so good. Is it focus? That's nice. The little micro, micro, uh, micro uh, SD and micro USB. That's all you need. And it can be less than 400 grams. It's amazing. So I'm talking to you, Pelotoning uh, Schmidt, or any you know leader of any country should go and like order 100,000 these for all the students. And just have the students use this for, you know, for their future is really important. Because they are like, uh, you know, they're using tablets, iPads, it's terrible. iPad is so bad. And there it is. This looks good. Yeah, uh, lots of you in the comments. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm.